Let's face it, in 2015, there is more video game and culture videos than you can shake a master sword at. <laughs> Trying to keep track of it all is enough to make a grown man crumble. <laughs> That's where I come in. Listen. I filter out all the noise out there and deliver the latest and greatest videos, complemented by hot takes from me and my friend Judge Reinhold. Wanna turn up the heat? I'm Diaper Chris, and ever since I can remember, I have dreamt of being an internet nerd blogger journalist. And this is my way of showing the world I have what it takes. This is Diaper's Demo Reel. Yeah. I'm Diaper Chris. And I'm Judge Reinhold. And we're here with Diaper's Demo Reel. Are you ready, Judge? Are you ready to watch some videos? All right, let's get to it. All right, you ready for here comes our first video? Mm hmm. So, this is a sequel to a beloved game franchise that was recently announced to have a Kickstarter. Oh. So, let's, let's take a gander. Yes. And see if we want to fund this, see if we're excited. Hi, I'm Tim Schaefer, and 15 years ago, I started Double Fine Productions. Isn't that the guy from the, the Parks and Rec? He's like nope. a manly guy. Really That's Tim Schaefer. Oh. He's like the god of video game devs. To become a psychic secret agent. A game where every level is set inside someone's mental world, where you literally fight their demons and wrestle their nightmares. It's a game with surprises, and action, and fun, and a couple of weird parts, and some jokes in there. A game called Psychonauts. And now I'd like to make another one, and I need your help. The original Psychonauts was shipped pointing on at you or me. 2005. He's pointing in between us, actually. And when G4 TV listed the best Xbox games of that generation, <laughs> <Psychonauts> number six. <laughs> it sold a couple hundred thousand copies, went out of print, and then people are gonna be mad at us because, because this this game's like an so internet so darling. Oh wait, hold it. Save your comments for the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to sit here in silence and watch this? Keep them in your head like a psycho knot. So instead of fading away, the power of Psychonauts. Has Can you imagine getting grown. inside my head? Getting inside this <laughs> noggin? <laughs> They'd be crazier than these guys. Look at them. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, green screen like a Twitch streamer. Yeah, except he used it, which I don't agree with at all. <laughs> so, there are people out there who like Psychonauts, and there are people out there who want more Psychonauts. And I know, because they tweeted me all the time, saying, when will there be a sequel to Psychonauts? These are his employees? <laughs> saying, I don't know, maybe <laughs> When will you give us an assignment? <laughs> Yeah, let's do this. Uh, the name is blurred, but the swear word is garbled. Yes, here's our plan. They also made a honking noise. We're going to ask for $3.3 million here from you lovely people because that's What's what you fig? generously gave us the first time. We uh, and just like we did with that. Game, I know about Kickstarter, I know about the other one. The, budget the, the GoFundMe. We will also be working with an external partner who will bring additional funding. None of these pieces on their own could fund the game. But together, they make it possible to create a sequel worthy of Wait, Psychonauts. Wait, so the fig the rewards for Broken Age took the world by surprise. <laughs> fund the game? It proved, among other things, that people still want adventure games. Which is great. But what about another kind of game? What happened to 3D action-adventure platformers with stylized graphics? I agree. Color, they went the way of Banjo-Kazooie, which is the grave. That's something <laughs> that I really wish there were more of. And I think other people out there do, too. And you know what? We don't have to wait for someone to tell us that the games we love are coming back in style. We can make it happen on our own. But only if you're into it. Are you into it? I'm into it. Nah, that guy's cool. I'm so into it. Oh, that girl's cool. So oh, this girl's cool. <laughs> oh, that guy's cool. I don't like that guy. <laughs> this girl's no, cool. no. I'm into it. Oh, for sure. Hi. Oh, these are all staff members. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ray Crook. I don't trust him. <laughs> he seems like a crook to me. There he is. Gabe. He can be into it. Dude, why are you even asking me? You know I'm into it. Is he wearing those glasses that you wear to trick people <laughs> into thinking that you're awake when you're sleeping? <laughs> no, I, that's what the Jack Black looked like. I think those glasses where the eyes fall out and they have like slinkies on them. So thanks oh. For watching and thanks for backing that's a crazy thing you'd see in the Psychonaut. Wow. There it is. Yeah. Ha! Fig. <laughs> Fig me. Fig you, buddy. Wow. So there it is, Judge Psychonauts 2. What is, I, what first is, question. First question okay, for you. Go ahead. I, I, you think this is a game changer? 
Oh, definitely. I don't think video games are going to be the same. All of the, uh, the 3D action platformers are coming back in style, according to Tim Schafer. And I have no reason to doubt him. Oh, what is Fig? <laughs> you asked? I, I don't I know. I see it right here. I mean, I mean, is this something that they did? I mean, they probably want us to go to the site to see more, but I'm not certainly going to do that. No. But I could see a lot of people out there <laughs> going to the site and seeing what it's about and educating themselves. Hmm. Well, like I was saying before, Psychonauts is like a real internet darling. Yeah, I've played it. Did you know this? I didn't know that. I played it to completion, 100%. Wow. So you collected all the, the things that you had to collect? Yeah, you, you, you collect... The uh, mental baggage or yeah, whatever. Yeah, the mental called. baggage, the cobwebs. The uh, PTSD. <laughs> you had to sweep it up. The mental <laughs> illness. Put it under a rug. <laughs> Just healthy. You had to put it under a rug. Wow. Yeah, no, I played it. You know what? At the time, I thought it was great. Hmm. But I like the milkman conspiracy. Oh, see, you know about it too. How do you know about this? Uh, I know it from the let's plays. Oh, but you would never put, you never become <laughs> dead playing mad. such a thing. <laughs> You're mad that I know it from let's plays. Yeah, I Even am. Even though we do it's let's like, plays. It's like you were scoffing at me for liking the Psychonauts <laughs> yeah. and playing it. And then you're like, oh, I've seen it in a much nerdier fashion. Yeah, that's what I do. Ah, you're the worst. They gave a, a decent amount of information there, I think. Uh, Except for the fact that we don't know what Fig is. Well, I, I'm looking at the logo now, and this will inspire a lot of goons out there. A long time ago, there was like a Photoshop of like some plant that had seeds. It's like a lotus seed pod. And then like... Ooh, goons, I don't like that plant. Goons were afraid of it. And they're like, F the ocean and things like that. So I don't think goons are going to be down with this one because they have the lotus seed pod as their logo on Fig, I see here. So, uh, so are you down? With, you are down with the Psychonauts remake. I am. Um, I give it a thumbs up because I don't want the audience to be mad at me. Okay. So, it, much like uh, your story there about the lotus plant, um, I have a similar story. Okay. I was once on the internet browsing one of those lists that says like top twenty somethings. And yeah. You have to click like next slide for each one. I've heard and, of those. And then like five ads come up. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like clickbait list. Mm-hmm. That's how they get their money. Yeah, yeah. And at the very bottom, there was a picture. It was like, oh, skin disease, right? Is it something about skin diseases? Like lupus? No, it said like oh. uh, five crazy skin diseases you won't believe are real or something. You know, like another <laughs> leprosy. <quick picture. laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, it, there was a Photoshop, a clearly Photoshop picture of like someone's shoulder blade that was all red. And there was like a, they took a lotus plant and photoshopped it into the oh, skin. Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. It made it like skin colored. Oh, yeah. And it like haunted my dreams for a week. Oh, so you're scared of the lotus seed <laughs> pod too. It's just I a am. plant. Don't be no, afraid of it. It's creep. It could. It can form on my shoulder blade and it, it can pull little blueberry seeds out of it. Your wife will pick them out for you. All That's right? disgust. <laughs> that is a disgusting thought. Based on that alone, and you know, I don't think we're ready for another Psychonauts yet. Because mm. I can't handle clickbait articles. I don't think I can handle another Psychonauts. <laughs> so I'm saying thumbs down on this one. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for our next video? Yeah, I sure am. Everyone's been clamoring to know our thoughts on this. You ready? I'm ready. Now, uh, this was sent to us by four different anonymous people on our Ask. .fm. Okay, wow, you're going with this one right off the bat, okay. I don't see why we brought a Shinra soldier along. No way he'd throw all that away for us. <sighs> What's his name, anyway? Cloud Strife. And he says it's former soldier. Look, heavy security like this, you want a professional. You hear the music? Oh, yeah, I remember that from the game. You remember this scene? <laughs> We're paying you more than a few gear. You best be worth it. That blade. Look. You know, you got it. Your politics. That's Baron. I was kidding. What's wrong with their hands? For the planet, same as us. Not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Anthony? <laughs> Get back here!
Oh. Wow. 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 Final Fantasy VII the remake. Wow. Wow. Where were you when you first saw that, Judge? I want to. Uh, this isn't on, the first time you've seen this, right? I was on the S.FM looking at this very <laughs> same video. And yes, all those all those reactions that you thought I was seeing for the first time, it was all fake. Wow. My first question for you. Okay. What did you think of Wedge's voice? <laughs> well, I liked it, obviously. <laughs> what was the part you liked best when he said, you're doing this for the planet or whatever he said? I liked how it sounded like he was gargling at first. Like the voice actor wasn't ready for the first take and he was still like drinking. <laughs> he did a spit He's... take is what you didn't see. <laughs> right. He was so impressed by a former soldier member being a uh, member of the Avalanche or A-V-A-L-A-N-C-H-E group, hmm. which if you remember, that's an acronym for something. Yeah, it is. It's like uh, advanced auto parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Advanced mercenaries and Shinra service. Oh, sure. Shinra. It's something like that. So are we allowed to give our honest takes? Because oh, yeah, yeah. I know that you're like a big jock and you always give me guff for having like legitimate opinions about video games that I love. And you're you're always you're always taking the piss whenever I whenever I demonstrate it. But I'm gonna need you to talk me off of the ledge here. Hold on, hold on, calm down. I take offense <laughs> that you say I'm a big jock, which is true. <laughs> but I make exceptions for some of my favorite franchises and games of all time, one of them being Final Fantasy VII. Okay. And you know why? Because that had a basketball mini game in the gold saucer. Oh, yeah, it did. So I was like, oh, okay, this game is good. I played it for like 20 hours up until that point, wondering, ah, I don't know. And I saw the basketball <laughs> mini game. I'm like, you okay, this is 20 hours. <laughs> 20 you, get, hours. you get out of Midgar, you're just like, nah, I still don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went, 10 more hours. Went across the ocean, did the Junyan <laughs> March or whatever it's called. <laughs> the Junyan March. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens, right? It's like a parade. Mm hmm. Like Santa comes out, you have the guys in the little cars driving around. I don't remember Santa coming out. Yeah, yeah, he's at the end. You never saw the end of it. That's the, in the director's cut. Oh, they'll probably <laughs> be in the remake. They'll probably put it in the remake. All right, what is your honest opinion on this? I'm very nervous. There are a lot of like really obvious takes in life that like you'd be you'd be a fool to like play devil's advocate for because I've done a lot of research on the Final Fantasy VII universe. And by that, I mean, I watched a video of all the Crisis Core cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> all the ones that had Zack dying, right? They're all bad. The, every every concept introduced in Crisis Core is bad. No, I didn't think Crisis Core was that bad. I mean... Did you the, play it? Oh, no, I mean, I saw the cutscenes like you. <laughs> really? Actually, not at all. I heard someone once talk about the cutscenes to <laughs> was me. Was it me? <laughs> no, it wasn't, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is interesting. Well, well, I mean, you did tell me about one cutscene. Rufus is in a wheelchair or something, which I think <laughs> is a was, bold choice. That was Advent Children. That was the one after it. Oh, I thought that was the movie. So, anyways, that was uh, the movie. Yeah, I, uh, Crisis Core. You know, in the original game, they don't they don't uh, display the weight enough of these Final Fantasy games. You you know, you see like three or four soldiers firing at Zack <laughs> when he dies, but in Crisis Core, you see like a thousand soldiers. <laughs> Firing at Zack when he dies. I think this remake is going to be a game changer for like really putting on display the weight of the storyline. You know, they're going to be able to display all the soldiers on screen shooting at Cloud when he jumps on the train after he buys a flower from Aerith. Sorry, you, you and I are just like two different people because I think things like that take away from what is inherently charming. Because recently, I hundred percented Final Fantasy VII. And I had to take like a, a real sober look at the game that I loved as a kid. Because <laughs> you were drunk the first time you played it. Well, I was I was high on being a preteen mm -hmm. and staring at that Tifa. Woo! Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> nah, but for real though, the the I almost quit at Wu Tai because it's so boring hey, when yeah, they take away, away your materia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And one of the inescapable conclusions I arrived at is that the bad graphics and the dopey music is what makes the, the world charming huh. in Final Fantasy VII. When I look at the, the trailer for this remake, it, it's gritty and it's, you know, it's dark and it's like over the top. Like, oh, Cloud does like 15 kickflip on his skateboard and he and he catches a bullet in his teeth and he shoots it back at a soldier soldier. I mean, that sounds cool on paper. It sounds cool on paper, but it's. Where's the charm? I mean, what if they put him in a wheelchair when he did that? Like he was when he lost his mind. Uh, <laughs> all right. That'll help. I'm not going to lie. That'll help. But the, there's there's just a problem to me is that you can't 
you can't have the same colorful cheery universe that is tragically going to go away with the summoning of meteor if everything is like dark and over the top like i can't get into it and i had this bombshell preserved for you oh it's going to be episodic what yeah <laughs> what they they're they're making the claim that this the final fantasy 7 remake is too big for one game hey i'm gonna make a claim right now yeah a little inside sorry to get so inside baseball on the business side of this yeah right but that's what i do this is my demo rule I, i'm gonna be <laughs> demo real this is, i'm gonna be a games journalist i'm gonna tell you why they're making it episodic right now why is that hot take ready because they don't want to rush the game to market <laughs> <laughs> it's only been 20 years <laughs> They don't want to rush it, but they need to get it out there in 2016. So they're like, oh, we'll call the first, the Midgar portion of the game phase one. I've been in business before. This is how this thing's st these work. We'll push Calm to phase two. Oh, God. Calm's <laughs> going to be its own. And the, oh, and no. the Midgar Zulum or whatever the snake is called. You're going to be completely right with Calm being its own segment because they go back to the wrong memory yeah it'll actually just be a, a movie that you buy like on <laughs> itunes it'll be an avi file <laughs> no better than what the men drinking coffee did yeah and i can see that happening because i'm a businessman wow first and foremost and they're doing this because they don't want to rush you're, an unfinished product you're no better than the original president shinra who gets stabbed by sephiroth <laughs> violently i mean <laughs> you don't see it it happens off screen I've been playing devil's advocate to you yeah. a little bit on this Final Fantasy, you know, saying that the new game looks cool, you know, <laughs> despite them having block hands. But the truth is, I'm with you. Oh, okay. There's there's a lot of charm to be had in the old game with the MIDI music and the block hands and the uh, <laughs> the asterisk, asterisk, hashtag. Oh, the swearing. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what Barrett are they going to do with that? Are they going to just have them swear? So, are they going to, like, have Barrett, you know, we're all living under the bleep, bleep, bleep. Pizza. Is it these <laughs> Wesley Snipes? They'll, they'll beep it out like a YouTuber. Yeah. Uh, or uh. Yeah. They'll do that. Yeah. Maybe maybe there'll be some nudity that's blurkled in the remake. Blurkled. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah blurkled. <laughs> like Urkel comes up <laughs> and he's like, Bleh. he's actually a summon. Wow. <laughs> I'm liking this remake more and more. <laughs> the more I hear about it, hey. episodic of content and blurkles. <laughs> yeah. He comes out. He says, "Did I do that?" And then he like lifts the planet up and flips it. Wow. And then he'd hands him a cheese. There are a lot of like intriguing plot ramifications for that, but I won't get into them. Yeah. So I figured you'd feel this way about this, the same way I do, that the, the old game had the charm. So I, I've offered you a different solution. Okay. Here, here's a... Um, people people out there think we're like cynics and we hate all video no. games, but I'd, I like one video game I think that's you'd be, it. I think you'd be willing to play this remake of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, oh. <laughs> Let's go. Code decipher. All right, be careful. Code decipher. Decipher the code. Rendezvous at second. Split up and get on the train. <laughs> it's so good. Hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Is that Blade? Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right, Joe. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene. Just what I always do. Shit! Having everyone worried like that. You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm? You were worried about me? Last train out of Sector 8 Station. Last stop is Sector 7, Train Graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. at Guy Standard Time. I'd like to thank my guildmate who lives in Britain for dopping onto Skype to record that line. What if uh, the subway rat is in the remake? Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Very Barrett heavy this train <laughs> this has trailer. To security well, his voice actor is so good. Sure yeah, I put him on display. Someday, 
Avalanche is going to be famous. And me, too. Stop. I like, I like on, the stop. remake. Uh, I like do you the like remake Wedge's voice better? In the remake. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> make it sure. Me, too. Hey, Cloud. You want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar Rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. This part's really boring. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know? Flashy stuff. There you have it. I watch this video every six months. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> if the remake were like that, I'd be gangbusters oh, for it. As too. far as I know, this never came out, which is sad. That is sad. I was jazzed for that, thinking it was going to come out or thinking it was real, and I could go home and download <laughs> it today. As far as I know, it is real. I think that they put out the demo, and it was received very poorly by people who aren't me, obviously. And huh. They just, like, put the kibosh on it. So we're together on this, right? Remake? We're uh, thumbs middle of the road to mm -hmm. down. All right. Right? Trending down. Trending down. And, uh, the Final Fantasy VII voice demo. Uh, up, 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 up. I wow. wonder if I wonder if they actually like did anything. Do you think that they just recorded gameplay and then like you know they read the lines on the AVI file? Like this isn't actually in their game. They didn't know how to do that yet. I think someone transcribed all the lines. <laughs> <laughs> like some that like, poor person. No, he was into it. Like that's what he would go home and do on the weekends. I think that the main programmer like. <laughs> The, the guy who made the mod, he did it just so he could be Cloud, you know? Because oh, yeah. nobody would ever hire that guy to be Cloud under any circumstance because Cloud is such a pristine character. <laughs> that's a good that's a good theory. I'll, I'll offer you a better hot take. Okay. Build on it. I bet you it wasn't Cloud that he wanted to be. I bet you he wanted to be Vincent. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Yeah, you're mad because you know I'm right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> he wanted to do that scene where Vincent like, comes oh, up. Oh, Krisha. Ooh, what to suck your blood? <laughs> That's a good Vincent. Yeah, it's my Maybe Vincent. Maybe we should send this in to them. Yeah, we should do our own Final <laughs> Fantasy VII remake. That's a good idea. Go on, give me a code deciphered. <laughs> Go on, do your best Jesse code deciphered. Okay. <clears throat> code deciphers. I'll be wedged. I'll be wedged. <laughs> okay. Right. Code deciphered. Wow. wow. Did you hear that voice? Wow. <laughs> You're like the Frank Galliendo of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it in John Madden's voice next. Okay, cool. I'm not going to do it. Oh, okay. Ah, speaking of movies. Okay. You like the Batman movies, right? No. What? <laughs> not particularly. I'm not, sorry. Wow. Yeah, me neither. But anyways. <laughs> what, if I had, what if I told you, Judge? What if I told you that I have found... An exclusive trailer for the next Batman movie. What? Yeah, it's on YouTube. No, what? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. There it comes. Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't want there to be any hard feelings between us, Harvey. You're right. And, uh, you and Rachel! Rachel were being abducted. I was sitting in Gordon's cage. I didn't break those charges. This isn't bad. Your man, trailer. Your plan. That is. Well, I really want like a guy with a plan. The guy sent you know it to I me. He told me it was an exclusive. <laughs> this guy sent it I wouldn't know what to do with him. I trust him. You know? He seems a little unhinged. Do. Mobs got plans. So he may like anarchy a little too much. <laughs> but he seemed like a <laughs> on the level kind of guy. On the up and up. Yeah, yeah. Schemers trying to control their little worlds. I'm not a schemer. I just like showing the schemers how. Pathetic. How long is this? <laughs> it's a trailer. It's not that oh long. Oh my god, it's two and a half I minutes. <laughs> I say that you and your girlfriend. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he making bread? <laughs> He's actually it's turning tinfoil into a shape. You, you, <laughs> you were a schemer. And the Joker is so sinister. Plans, look where that got you. I just did what I do best. I took your little plan and I turned it on itself. Oh no, not my plan. Look what I did to the city with a few drums of gas and a couple of bullets. Hmm? You know the thing I notice about when things go according to plan? <laughs> Nobody can. The Joker, he lives up to his name. I can <laughs> laugh it up a star. <laughs> Me too. Of this that, guy is funny. I can't get over this crazy character. Or a truckload of soldiers will get blown up. Nobody panics. 
because it's all part of the plan. But if I say that one little old mayor will die, then everybody loses their minds. I already know that meme. Introduce a little anarchy and upset the established order and everything becomes chaos. See, I'm an agent of chaos. That guy had a screw loose. Oh, there you go. You want to see that new Batman movie? Uh, yes, <laughs> I do actually. Do you have a Joker impression? Um, Judge? yeah. Let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I think it sounds <laughs> more like the penguin, but it's good. <laughs> that was the Joker. You want to hear mine? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Diapers looking at me like uh, out of the side eye. I'll order a pizza. <laughs> yeah, you did he do that? He's like, he's chewing something, right? That's how you do it. Why do the nerds like Joker so much? Because uh, he's a he's a Joker. Well, That's, why? Oh, I, I, Do you want to get into it? Yeah. I'll tell you why. I have a theory on this. Okay. <laughs> because on the animated series for the Batman, uh, he was voiced by Mark Hamill, mm -hmm. who was in the Star Wars, and the nerds love Star Wars for <laughs> Lord knows what reason. <laughs> Oh, we'll get into that later. Yeah, I just that's my thoughts on the Joker. Wow. That that is pretty plausible. If you have any suggestions as to why nerds like the Joker, please leave them in the comments below. Yeah. Or send us a tweet at our what's our Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there. Mhm. Mm All right, there you go. Batman. You ready for our next video, Judge? Go right ahead. You see this yet, Judge? What's that? Uh, there's an incident caught on CCTV involving a man in a shopping mall and a PS4. You see this thing yet? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, I'll get a gander at this. You're not going to believe this. Now, the music isn't in the video, actually. Okay. Someone added that. Yeah, they're typically silent. Now, this man's looking at a PS4 display. Okay. Uh-oh, he's an <laughs> Xbox fan. <laughs> That's what you think, right? Yeah. I don't think he's peeing, my man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Do you believe this? This guy has problems. <laughs> Those other two people are like, well... <laughs> time to see what they have in the old gift card section. Walks away slowly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do, too. The guy just started <laughs> masturbating in the aisle. I would just walk away from him. I would say, no, thank you. This guy is going to town. <laughs> what is the game even? Uh-oh, here comes this guy. The employee. I would not reach out my hand. He tells him to get out of here. He says, we good? He said, okay. <laughs> he well, that's good. That was a healthy interaction. You know, it's just part of experimenting with your body. He's a young man. Wow. <laughs> Judge, I have a series of questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. So, first, do pixels get your motor humming? Uh, yeah. What pixels in particular get your motor humming? Uh, the L-shaped Tetris block. Uh -huh. uh, the T-shaped Tetris block and uh -huh. the Z-shaped Tetris block, but not the S. That's just sick. For me? Yeah. Uh, that uh, female Daxter, you know, Jack and Daxter? It was like the female Daxter. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Does it every time. Wow. Hmm. I got another question for you, Judge. Okay, go ahead. What about sleek next-gen hardware? Does that get your motor humming? Oh, yeah. My, it, it gets me going whenever I see a buttery smooth 60 FPS frame rate. Oh, me too. Well, that's the frame rate, but what about the hardware? Uh, well, you know, that that's part of it, too. So I guess so. It's kind of like it's kind of like when a lady wears a nice negligee. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I personally like when my PS4s have skins on them. Skins? Yeah, you know, you like decorate it with a skin. It's like a sticker you put on the PS4. Like, oh. like camouflage is my favorite. Oh. My personal favorite. You put like the Intel inside on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people get confused. They're like, oh, I thought it was a PS4. Yeah. And they hey. have AMD on there. Uh, there you go. That was a nerd <laughs> joke. <laughs> wow. So, so you, we agree. Pixels get our motors humming. Yep. Hardware gets our motor humming. Mm -hmm. Now, my next question for you, Judge. What do you think in particular got this guy's motor humming <laughs> hmm. that he had to just drop trial and pleasure himself in a shopping mall to us because we... was it the game or was it the uh, deals what store was this <laughs> it looked like a like a british best buy to me or it something it could have been like all the deals and like he's like oh monster cables are 50 percent off and he just like got so excited so uh time for a tribute 
We've we've lost a lot of people this year. <laughs> Tone shift. <laughs> it's my show. My rules. Your pacing. I, I please do not berate me. <laughs> I brought you along as a favor to you because I didn't want you to feel left out. Okay, thank you. No, I appreciate it. For a tribute. We've lost a lot this year. Okay. Well, name some of the people we lost. So, Wata. Uh, that's it. All right. Now, here's a tribute to another person that we're losing this year. <laughs> we're losing. They're not dead yet. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> they're gonna I mean, very, they're going to be pretty offended if they see this. They're not dead yet. Let's skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm talking about Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Kobe isn't dead. Oh, I mean, have you seen his shooting percentage this year? <laughs> wow. These were the good times. Wait, this is Kobe in a video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are remembering the good times. The man has been in the, the NBA for 20 years. Give him a break. Oh, God, that looked hard for his arm. <laughs> Is that what happened to him? Is that, that why he's bad now? That's why he wears that sleeve. Oh. Oof. It's just a video game. It's okay, Judge. Oh, look at that, though. <laughs> I know. Look at that. Prepare myself. It's just, uh, it's just shit book. Who is that? <laughs> it was a guy interviewing him. The yikes! Is that a creative character? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the interviewer. Is that some like lead guy that'll like everybody will be mad at me for not knowing who he was? He was the creator of NBA 2K. Is it, that was Bud C like? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Roger Goodell. Oh. This is a long process. Sure, I could do it. He's talking about the aging process. Oh, set example. I'm a friend of frequency. Work hard, just go for it. You've had tons, and we've, we've had tons of <laughs> Get that baby potato man out of here. I hate this guy. This is like a little face on him. Look at him. He looks like a, like a seal. <laughs> Get him out of here. I'm it's trying to, like, remember the good times about Kobe, not the bad times when this <laughs> ugly potato man interviewed him. I know. Me too. You know, players at this stage of their career, you know, they probably kill me too. You know, the say they never come back the same. Man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Powerful. <laughs> Powerful. Powerful stuff. Do you think he should just retire now? Or is he going to make us endure this entire season? <laughs> <laughs> well, as you know, I am a fraud. Uh -huh. And I only like reading and hearing about basketball <laughs> as opposed to watching it. Yeah, yeah. So I read the nerd blog, mm -hmm. uh, 538. Yeah. And I listen to Bill Simmons. Yeah. And that's why I All enjoy stuff. Yeah. I enjoy tormenting you talking about Golden State. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of hearing about him. Tired of it. <laughs> They're going 82 and 0. But we're not talking about the real storylines. Kobe, Kobe. God. Kobe is falling apart on the court. As I understand it, again, from reading articles yeah, and it's, hearing to Bill Simmons, I'm not actually uh, watching. No, no, no. For those that don't know, the, those that aren't into sports and only come here for the video game coverage, mm -hmm. and we tie it all together, Kobe is basically jibbing out there, <laughs> all right? To use a video game term. <laughs> He's exploding into <laughs> organs. Yeah. Like the other day, I think I saw his pinky fall off <laughs> when he shot an air ball. Wow. And he's such a competitor. He just put it right back on. Poor Kobe. Ah, uh, poor Kobe. And, and then he gave up the ball. He kicked it with his foot. <laughs> so my question, should he retire now? I say yes. I say no. He's still got 20 more years in him. Do you want all the cities to give him gifts like they did Kareem? Yes. You know, they give Kareem a big rocking chair his last game. And then he sat in it. Listen, I'm going to suggest something here so that the video game people can appreciate this. Imagine Kobe in Cloud's wheelchair. And also, Kobe has like the big sword, and he's on the court. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I mean, if you guys don't get that, I'll put it in another. Another. Say you're only a Nintendo fan. Okay. Imagine Kobe sitting in a rocking chair, and then Donkey Kong comes in. Yep. And he berates him. <laughs> wow. And he hits him with a cane, and he says, "Back in my day, we had hand checks, and we ran the triangle. We had another spread the floor offense." All right, now I think you lost all the Nintendo people and me. You ready for our last video, Judge? Oh yeah. All right. Now this is uh this is another teaser trailer. 
Okay. It's from a, a little known man out of PA. My best friend Ryan Dunn died in a car accident four years ago. He's dead and gone. Iceland's his favorite place. I'm gonna build him a skate park. You don't have to be a musician to be an earth rocker. Andrew Strandberg is an earth rocker. My other best friend, Brandon Novak, is on heroin again. He's back in rehab for his 16th time. Good luck with that one. I'm sick of the bullshit. I'm sick of all the shit. I don't go out anymore. Cause I hate every motherfucker. I don't care what they're up to. Four years I wasted sipping on drinks at the bar, chit chatting with fucking nobodies. Now I stay at home like a fucking hermit. I'm not gonna take any shit from anybody. I know what's going on. I got set up. I got jumped. Thank God Nikki wasn't there to watch me get my fucking ass kicked. She would have wound up with a black eye and then probably went to jail. She has a big mouth. I live for this shit. I love it. Bring it the fuck on. Payback's a bitch, motherfucker. Can you hear the call for the wasted and wounded? Wasted and wounded. Wasted and wounded. I watch this video every six hours. <laughs> I get up in the middle of the night and I watch it again. Me too. Just to just to see if it makes sense. It never does. <laughs> <laughs> no, I watch it every six hours as well. <laughs> yeah. You know why? Why is that? Because I want to know. I want to know how to be an earth rocker. All right. Well, first of all, I think that you need to be like a musician. In no, a band. no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Well, it, you don't need to be a musician to be an earth rocker. Oh, he wait. says that himself. Bam but, says that himself. But he, Andrew Schramberg's an earth rocker. And he says, you don't need to be a musician to be an earth rocker. Oh. Andrew Schramberg is an earth rocker. You know, citing <laughs> Andrew Schramberg as a non-musician earth rocker. <laughs> okay. That's what Bam meant by that. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is that is the new dark Bam Margera. He was inspired by watching that Joker video from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's what you get. This is what you people did to Bam Margera. Yeah, you asked for this. Yeah, you wanted this Bam Margera. You wanted your everybody's always going. I wanted to see a darker side of Bam Margera. Well, here it is. Yeah, deal it, with it. Yeah, it, it, judge. Mm -hmm. If I ever died, I'd want you to build a skate park in Iceland for me. I will. Actually, I don't want a skate park. I want you to build a GameStop because I love video <laughs> games Game so Stop much. In Iceland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they have any. Wow. I mean, judging, I think Bam was in Iceland when he filmed that, except the last part, which I think was a video game. Nobody, yeah. <laughs> I've studied this very carefully. I've gone frame by frame, like, you know, one of those, like, loose change videos yeah, trying yeah. to figure it out. I'm still not sure if it's a video game in that part or not. I'm pretty sure it's a drone shot, no matter what. What does he got on his nose at the end, though? Um, I don't know. It's an Illuminati, Illuminati symbol. Oh, is that why Bam got beat up by that Icelandic rap? Yeah, he's group. like, you work for the Illuminati. I am going to kick your arse. That's what they talk in Iceland. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And they played Minecraft. <laughs> Went to Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, do you think it would have ended up better or worse if Bam's girl Nikki was there when he um, got beat up? It would. It would have been a lot worse for everybody involved because she, as we all know, she has a big mouth. Uh -huh. She would have gotten a black eye. As Bam says, we don't, Bam may be what uh, literature calls an unreliable narrator, right? He's the, he's the only perspective that we're getting, but there's some clues in there that um, what he's saying isn't true because nobody knows who Andrew Stramberg is. <laughs> there may be an Andrew Stramberg, according to the original video. Yeah. But, you know, Bam quite clearly isn't sure about this man's name. He calls him Andrew Stramberg. <laughs> like, like Bam only recently met this guy. And he's already dedicated to the Earth Rocker lifestyle. I don't buy it. Yeah, there is. Uh, to your point, there's three sides to every story, they say, right? Yeah. There's uh, your side, there's my, side, my and side, and the truth. And the truth. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle, usually, mm -hmm. right? Now, uh, we're only getting Bam's side, like you said. I don't believe him that you don't need to be a musician to be an Earth Rocker. Me personally, I, I think you need to be a musician. I mean, let's look at all the greatest earth rockers. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew Stramberg. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, Bam Margera, presumably. Mm -hmm. Does he actually explicitly state that he's an earth rocker? I don't think he does. I, now, his, his girl. He's just letting us know that earth rockers exist. 
<laughs> but he gives no further information about how to become one or where to, you know, contact them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's kind of like that guy that you see the memes of with the crazy hair talking about aliens. Oh, yeah, he's just Earth Rockers. <laughs> Bam's always talking about Earth Rockers. Wow. <laughs> you know, like, he's, he's throwing out conspiracy <laughs> theories about Earth Rockers. The, the, the most fascinating part about all this, and if I may be real, you and I discussed this at length, was the fact that we Googled the hell out of all the things that Bam talks about. Oh, yeah. Here. You can't find anything on anything. No. I mean, uh, Nikki, his girl, who's known to have a big mouth, uh, took to Twitter at some point. Oh, really? And listed a few Earth Rockers. Oh. Um, Wiz Khalifa was among them. Yeah, Wiz Khalifa and Tony Hawk were among them. Now, no, no. One is a musician for sure. Mm -hmm. Tony Hawk is a skateboarder by trade. But mm. has he ever picked up a guitar or not? Oh, of course. I mean, at what point do you become a musician? Is that someone who's paid to play music? Or is it someone who's just musically, like, you know? Inclined, yeah. Yeah. I mean, wow. Maybe Tony Hawk had piano lessons when we were a kid. We don't know. We don't know if you need to be a musician to be an Earth Rocker. That's all I'm saying. Right. And it's just fascinating to me that it's 2015 and Bam has totally locked down all information on what an Earth Rocker is. You can't find it. It's like we're back in 1998 or 1999 yeah. when Jackass was like at its peak and there was no internet. It's like Bam's been living in a bubble for, for 17 years. Right. And he innovated all these concepts like Earth Rocker and having a girlfriend. And driving fast on the highway. Yeah, well, that's. I mean, come that, on now. No, nah, I was, man died with a car toy up his butt. <laughs> Ryan Dunn. Yeah, and Bam's taken the death of Ryan Dunn real hard, <laughs> real hard. I mean, I can't remember a death I took that hard. Not even Aerith. I mean, Diaper. If if you died again driving on the highway with a car toy up your butt, mm -hmm. I think I would become an Earth Rocker too, <laughs> and build me in a GameStop in Iceland. I would be just like Bam. I would be like inconsolable and also insane. <laughs> That's my promise to you as my friend. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Would you get a him tattoo? <laughs> a hardogram? Yeah, and it, I would not get a hardogram. <laughs> but I would, I would release a video where people aren't sure if it's a video game or real life. That would be nice. That would be really nice of you. I appreciate that. Okay. And so that's what we've learned here today. You know, we, I've gone through all these videos, but what I've really learned is that it's not always about, you know, being a tastemaker, a curator of videos. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's about friendship. Mm -hmm. You're my friend. You're my friend too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.